Hi, I'm Natalie. You may have seen um, the recommendation for all Americans to wear face masks every time they leave the house now. So I went online and I saw a Japanese um, tutorial for a no-sew face mask and that's what I'm wearing here. Um, I went on to Etsy and I got these 10 decorative scarves for $12 and they actually sent me 14. I got lots of pretty colors and I want to show them to you. Um, it's recommended that you wash your at-home cotton mask every day, so I wanted to get a bunch. Um, like I said, it was only, did I say 14? It was $12, 14 with tax to get all these scarves, and they actually sent me 12, even though I ordered 10. So I figure I can make a mask for every day of the week, put them in the laundry every week. Um, the way you fasten this to your ears is with two hair ties, so any girl that has a bunch of hair ties can just grab a couple. You lose one, you grab another. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these masks. It's very simple. You, um, you want to make sure your scarf is big enough. This is about the smallest it can be. I think it's 11 inches. You don't want it any smaller than this. You turn it face down. You fold it right into the middle and make sure you make a crease. Fold the other side to meet it in the middle and make a crease. Then you keep it in place and you flip it over, preserve your crease, and fold the other side into the middle again. So you're making it half the size again and the crease is going to be harder to make this time because it's thicker but luckily with the fabric I have it's kind of a um, crinkly cheap handkerchief so it's easy to do. So I folded this into the middle once, flipped it over and folded it into the middle again. Now I'm going to preserve the creases, turn it over again and that's all I have to do. I'm going to fold in the ends a little bit and try to crease it as best I can. It's okay if that side comes undone. I'm just trying to make a line for myself so that I know where to put my hair ties. So that's what it's going to look like. Then I'm going to take my hair ties, put them right where that crease was on both sides. This is the tricky part because if your handkerchief is only 11 inches like mine, you've got to make sure that it stays on. I really recommend trying to get a bare one. That just happened to be the size that mine came in. So from the back, it looks like this. So as you can see, if you can get the scarf to fold over, like all the way over, that would be better. This is just going to be clinging onto my cheeks, really. So I'm going to hook it onto my ears trying to make sure it stays together. And because of the, um, it's okay. Because of the, all the folds I made, I can fan it out over my chin and my nose and it makes a nice, face mask just like any face mask you would buy. One tip is if you let it crinkle around your mouth it's easier to speak and to breathe. That's it. Happy wear mask wearing.